Hello all and welcome back to Sky Factory 4 episode 13. This is Mord. This episode we're going to be getting into industrial foregoings, laser drill, and trying to get some of the other resources that aren't available through direct mining like aquamarine and platinum. And then we'll probably take those and try to get started on the Astral Sorcery mod. It's not one I've played with much, but I'd like to get into it and learn it a bit. Uh, so that's where we'll go. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, we ask that you do that. It'll help you follow along. It'll help us know that you're watching. But otherwise, we're going to get into things. I did get the blacksmith building uh, at least started. I'm not sure that I like the total aesthetic because it looks a little too fancy, I think. I might change it to like a rammed earth look but I do like how it looks overall so I might leave it and just go with it I'm not sure yet but I did move the tinker's complement stuff in here I also have the tinker's construct tables and an anvil just to kind of give it a, a blacksmithy feel and then we have our stairs going down to our smeltery area down here where all of our metal processing goes on so overall it's pretty good effect um, uh, so that's a good start we may may do a little more with it over time uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, but ap next thing I want to do is I want to get into the industrial foregoing laser drill recipes. I'll set those up and we'll get into that. All right, I've got the recipes set up here for getting the laser lenses for industrial foregoing. And let's take a quick look at the recipe because one of the things we require for this is pink slime. There is this recipe down here where we can change the colors, but we need the initial lens to do that in the first place. So we're gonna go after this pink slime and there's a couple ways to get that. One of them is putting pink slime fluid in the world. Um, I don't really have access to that and I can actually just use the loot fabricator with a pristine blue slime matter to make the pink slime. So we're gonna go that route. So I set up the data models here for blue slimes. It's just a blue slime ball and a blank data model like we've done with the other ones. And uh, we'll put that together and make the four of these. And we're also going to need seeds to plant to get blue slimes to spawn so we can level it up. And that's a slime ball, melon seed, and lapis. Um, and we're gonna take that pink slime that we get it from that and put it around this lens. Um, to make our lenses and then uh, let's go up and kill some blue slimes and uh, we'll cut to that okay let's uh, put the blue slimes in our learner here and uh, basically what we're gonna have to do is plant our seeds to get these to level up and we can level them up like we have done on the other ones and we'll level four at a time here so let me go ahead and get these planted we'll put the, the learner in the shield slot and then we'll plant these blue slime seeds all right, and we're done. So let's go ahead and bone meal some of these. Oh, didn't mean that. And kill them off. And you can see we're starting to get kills. And here's there's a few more. This is a lot of fun, actually. It goes pretty quick because they keep splitting on me. This is actually actually pretty fast. So let's just kill these massive amounts of them. We're already up to advanced. And each of these split ones counts as a kill as well, which is pretty cool. And there goes superior. All right, and there's self-aware, so we're done. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's clean up these extra little stragglers here. No problem. That went pretty quick, so fairly easy way to level them up. Uh, okay, let's drop it in our machine here, and we will wait it out to see if we get some pristine built up. And sure enough, we've got three here. So let's take those, and uh, we're going to go take that over to the loot fabricator. We'll throw it in here. See what our options are. It looks like we get one pink slime per. So we're going to let those build up for a little bit. And we'll be back when we can make the lens. All right, we've got four here. Let's go ahead and put it around here. We'll make our lenses, or one of our lenses. We're going to need more of these, but this is how you make it. Pink slime around the white stained glass pane. Uh, this is made by taking white glass, which is just bone meal and glass, and putting it in a six pack. And uh, then we can make our laser lens. So we'll take this. And we will also use these gears. This is a gold gear, which I think we've highlighted, and this is a diamond gear. Um, but we do use them in these recipes, so I'll go over them again real quick. This is the laser base, and it does take two of, two of the gears, the plastic, glowstone, gold gears, diamond gear, and a machine casing. And uh, we make our laser base, and then we're going to need four of the laser drills. Uh, we put our laser lens in there, we've got our plastic, we've got glass, glowstone, diamond gear, and machine case to make a laser drill. We'll make that, and uh, we're going to need three more of these. So we'll get that done off camera, and then we'll get ready to go set this stuff up. 
We're also going to need two ender chests. This is the recipe for it, and this is so we can send items across from Twilight Forest to uh, the main world here, because it'll it'll teleport them across. So we'll make two of those. And we're also going to need this weirding gadget, which is, uh, I think we've looked at it before, but it's just a bunch of gold around an eye of ender and an iron ingot, and that's a chunk loader. And let's head to Twilight Forest. All right, here we are, and let's uh, go ahead and get our laser base set up. We'll just drop it down here. And then I'm going to have to remember the facing on these, but uh, let's try... Yeah, see, it says no laser base, so there must be something with the facing. Let's try this way. No, I bet it's the other way. I bet we have to face the actual um, face the actual hole here. Let's look and see. So let's break that, and uh, we'll try it from this side. We should see... A, yeah, there's the beam. Okay, so that's perfect. We'll do that with these four. We'll go around here and set up the base across for all four of these. Like that. And uh, we're also going to have to attach some power because no work is being done. So let's take our flux points and set them on these. We'll face it on all four of them, like so, and then we're going to have to set up the network. So we'll do this for all four. All right, and you can see there's work being done now. So we've got power going in and it is drilling. Uh, and our, right now our depth is zero, which we'll have to see how that works with everything. Uh, but let's see what we start getting in. The other thing we're going to have to set up is we're going to have to set up the item collection. So we're going to take our item extraction cable here. We'll put it on top. And then we'll take our ender chest and set it on top. Or no, on top. There we go. And uh, we'll just make sure that we're getting items coming in. So let's double check that. Um, yep, there we go. Dilithium ore. Then one more thing we'll need is I think we'll have to load the chunk. So let's take our weirding gadget and we'll put it down well, maybe up here. No, I think we're going to set it over next to it here because I can't really get it up there and open the chest. So we'll set it over here and this will load the chunk. And uh, then we'll head back across to the real world and see if we can hook up item consumption in the ME system back in the base. All right, here we are. And uh, let's go ahead and set down our chest right here. We'll take, uh, we've, you can see we've got some of our ores starting to show up. And uh, there's some aquamarine. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we're going to have to take an ME import bus and we're going to throw it on this to suck it into the system. So let's do that. We'll take our import bus, set it here, and allow that to pull itself into ME. So we're basically sending it across from Twilight Forest and our aquamarine is now in the system. And here we go. We've got three... Aquamarine shales here. We're going to take these and put them into the smelter to see if we can get three per and we'll be turning those into aquamarine seeds. So we will go ahead and put it in over here. And there's nine aquamarine. Let's grab them out of here and we're going to use those to start a seed recipe over here. There we go. And then we're going to have to add essences. So there's the seed and here are the essences. So those are the seeds we need, and we'll come over here and we'll start planting them to get them growing. Okay, now that we've got aquamarine, I want to make some colored lenses to, to make the chances that we're going to get specific ores. We need platinum. So let's take these white laser lenses and some light blue dye to make a set of these light blue lenses. And after we get done with this, we'll take a look at the recipe and you'll see why we're doing light blue, right? So um, if you bring up the recipe for platinum ore, you can take a look and you can tell one of the things that it tells you is you need to use a light blue lens at a depth of 5 to 16 to get platinum ore. So we're going to make these light blue lenses and we're going to go over to the Twilight Forest. All right, let's uh, go ahead and set these in here. Uh, one of the things we're going to need to do is we need to set up our item filter to ignore. So we'll take it to a blacklist. And um, we're going to put the light blue laser lens in here. Otherwise, our import bus or our uh, item extractor will, will pull them out of the system, even though they're in this input side. So we want to do that. And we'll put these in, which should up our chances of getting platinum ore. So let's let that sit. I'd also like to go over the upgrades here. This is a base add-on for Tesla Core Library. And this stuff is used to upgrade industrial foregoing machines. And it's just paper and redstone. So... We uh, will make that, and then we'll use that for each of these. This is the base energy upgrade, energy upgrade one. And uh, you just take redstone and a gold gear to make that, and then you replace that with a diamond gear in this recipe to make the energy upgrade two. There's also an alternative recipe where you can surround the energy upgrade one with diamonds too. So you can do that if you have another one as two. This is the speed upgrade one, which is two gold gears and redstone and a base add-on. 
And then we have the same thing with Diamond Gears for Speed Upgrade 2, and it also has the option for surrounding it with diamonds for this as well. So let's go over and install these. All right, we're here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we did adjust the depth on this to 10, so we can get our platinum ore. That's at the right depth, so that will be good. And let's go ahead and install these in one of these drills. Uh, we will need to get a set for each one, but for now we'll put it in this one. And that should speed things up a little bit. If we check on the work level, we should be seeing quite an upgrade. We are seeing things go faster here, and then our work's going up a little bit faster. We'll get that in all four and see how that does. All right, now as you can see, we're getting plenty of platinum ore. Well, we're starting to get platinum ore, not plenty. We've got one, but it's coming in now, so that's good. It looks like this depth setting and this lens is working. Um, so it is a Y between 5 and 16, and you don't have to worry about the Y location of your actual drill. It's just whatever the number is on the drill that gets it to come in uh, like that. So the next thing that we're going to have to look into is probably Sapphire. Uh, so let's look it up. And... Um, you can see it's between 30 and 70. Uh, so we'll have to change our depth for sure to get that. I, that's the only one we have left. So we'll probably go for that. And uh, then we'll come back once we've got a little bit of platinum and sapphire built up. And we'll get seeds for those. All right. So we've had it running for a little bit. And uh, it looks like we got a stack of 64 platinum ore. That's good. That came in fine. And I've actually changed the depth on the drill to 70. And we are starting to get sapphire ore. I think to get the actual full sapphires, we're going to have to break this with a pickaxe. Um, but we don't have seeds for these that I've seen. So there's no, there's no sapphire seed. But the only thing that these are really used for is... Um, Practical Logistics 2, which looks like it's... I've never used the mod, but it looks like it's some kind of cabling mod that's similar to um, Integrated Dynamics. Uh, there's probably some differences. I, I don't know enough about it, right? There, there are some screens and stuff. It looks like it might be pretty cool, but we're not going to get into it right away. So the only way to get Sapphires looks like it is going to be um, through Resource Hogs. And we actually, actually have to get the full Sapphires to make Resource Hogs buckets. So when we get into the Resource Hogs stuff... For the advancements, we'll probably use this, but I'm just going to leave it running on that depth to build some of these up for now. We'll put them back in here, and uh, I've got what I need for platinum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go enrich this, and what enrichment we'll do, we'll double our ores. So we take this and put it in here, and we enrich our platinum dust, and then we'll take that and we'll smelt it. And we should have two stacks of platinum dust, so that should go nice and quick. And we're going to need quite a few of the red essence and the red seeds. So we're going to make those and we'll come back and we'll make those into seeds. So let's look at seeds. We're going to, oh, we've already got 20 of those. Tier 5, cool. And then uh, essence. Oh, I've already got plenty of those too. So I'll set those up and uh, we'll, we'll make them over here in just a second. And here we are. Uh, this is kind of a waste of platinum, but since we'll have the seeds, it's not gonna, not a big deal. So it just makes it a little easier to set it up. So I'll just go put these up there. We'll spread them and we'll have another spot where we can grow our platinum seeds. So I'll just use this corner right here, or actually this side, and uh, we'll spread them out and get those growing. All right, we're back. And to get started with Astral Sorcery, we're going to start by putting these patterns into our ME system. Uh, this is the aquamarine from Essences. This is everything else from like paper. This is from Nature Essences, so we can get sugarcane and a book from uh, Tinker's Construct Patterns. So we're gonna do all that and we're gonna start by making the Astral Tome. And this recipe here is the Astral Tome. We need to actually make some parchment, which I have in there. I'll go ahead and craft 10 of those. But you'll see it takes aquamarine and paper to make it. And then we'll take our Astral Tome. Uh, we actually need our book. And this time for real. And there is our Astral Tome. All right, so let's take a look at that. Right click it and see what we have to do here. Hover over one of the clusters and zoom in using the scroll wheel or WNS. So there's cluster discovery. And we'll zoom in. All right, cool. So it tells us how to craft the basics here. Um, we've got the resonating wand.
Constellation Papers, Ancient Shrines, which, see, I think this actually takes exploration, so I'm not sure how this works in this mod pack. So let's take a look. It says it's a top high hills, that kind of stuff. It doesn't really talk about how to get to it here. Um, we did see Rock Crystal Ore. We get Aquamarine Shale, shale from uh, the drill. We can also get this from the drill, too. Um, but we can also go get it, and I think you can even make seeds for it. So that's something we'll have to look into. And this crafting table is probably the first thing we have to make. So I'll tell you what, let me lay out the recipes for this. I'll come back and we'll go over them, uh, how to get the marble, how to get the city marble inside of Sky Factory. And uh, we'll go through that when I get back. All right, I've got the, a few recipes to get started. Now, you there are two different types of marble. Um, that's one thing I found. You can make basic marble, like Minecraft marble, um, with petrified acorns and resin, just like making cobblestone, except for in the middle, you put bone meal, and that'll make marble. So that's, um, that's your basic marble, and then you can take that marble and surround this coal to get sooty marble and get eight of those, right? And that's what you're going to need for your crafting table, right, with that. But you're also going to need six pieces of marble, but if you use the marble that is from Minecraft, it won't work here. So you need to convert that to astral sorcery marble, and you can actually do it with a chisel, right? So you put your marble in here, and your astral sorcery marbles are down here, and um, we can just get any of these that say astral, astral sorcery. We'll take 16 of those, and that's a good start. Now, we'll go ahead and put this here to get our crafting table. This is the luminous crafting table. It's how we start it. And um, we will have to uh, expand on that a little bit. But one thing we need to do is we need to get it where we can actually grow or, or produce this marble on our crafting table. So I'm going to produce some seeds and uh, go plant them and get marble essence. So I'll get seven seeds and I'll need nine to fill it up. But one of the things that we have for this is if we can get our marble essence, we can actually put an aquamarine essence to get the astral sorcery marble instead of the raw marble, right? So all we have to do is take our marble essence and surround an aquamarine essence with it to get marble for astral sorcery. So that's how we're gonna do it in our crafting table. I'm gonna go up and plant this and get that ready. And then we'll come back and we'll explore some of our basic crafting options with the luminous crafting crafting table. All right, we've got our crafting table up here, and there is a lot of options, but one of the things I wanted to show was most of these things seem to take starlight, and luckily we're in this nighttime world, so I think we can collect starlight all the time. So if we put our table down, you'll notice there's this meter that seems to fill up um, with some amount of starlight. I don't know how much, and we'll have to play with that some, but uh, let's take a look at our tome. And there are a few things that we can get. Uh, one of them is a light well. And I think we need to basically get where we can get different marbles, right? With different marble shapes. So I'm basically going to get all of these into our crafting table to start, right? So it's just a matter of taking the astral sorcery marble we just got and then going three across and then three, uh, two of them with this type and this type of marble has this shape to it and getting all of these into our ME system so we can craft these as we need to. And uh, what I'll probably do is just have a stockpile of each of them ready to go. And then we'll come back and use our ME system to craft them. So it's just a matter of getting those recipes in one at a time and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in. It'll be something like this. We take two to get a pillar. Or we take four. So if we get our astral sorcery marble and we do something like this. In our, there's the pillar recipe, which I've already got in there. And we take it here and go one, two, three, four. We get this type. And we're just going to make that for all of them. And I'll do it off camera to get all those types of marble into the system. All right, I think this covers them, right? We've got all these different types of marble that we can use to build our recipes with. So I'm gonna go over and get some of these basic recipes created. All right, and when we were in Twilight Forest earlier, a few episodes back, uh, we did pick up some rock crystals and I don't know much about them, but I think we'll probably use the low purity ones for one of these recipes to see what happens. I wanna try the light well recipe. Uh, what the light well does, I believe it collects liquid starlight. Um, as long as it's got view of the sky. So let's try it. And let's try the light well and just take a look. And you notice that this is starting to fill up even more. That's kind of nice. And we have everything there. 
um, aquamarine, which we got from our essences, all these different uh, marbles, which I just have a bunch of each in there just in case I need them because it seems like different types are needed for everything. And then that rock crystal, which is the low purity one. I don't know if it makes a difference. Now, how do I actually craft with it is the question. So we'll have to uh, look at that. Hmm. Okay, I was doing a little reading, and it looks to me like we actually need a resonating wand, which two marble bricks, ender pearl, and two aquamarines will get it done. And we have to right-click the table with a resonating wand to actually craft any um, any of the items for astral sorcery. So let's right-click it and see what happens. Nothing. It's in there. Oh, you know what? I think it requires more starlight. So what I'm seeing is this goes up and down. And we don't have enough of this starlight in here to actually do it. So let's wait until this starlight goes up, and then we'll try to actually craft it. So there must be some kind of day-night cycle, even though we're in this all-dark map. So once this goes back up, we'll try again. Okay, I'm going to try moving this up way higher in the sky, um, just to see if we can... Uh, get a little more starlight because it seems like the closer you get to the sky the better so for at least for starting I'm gonna go up and I'm also gonna make this floaty big floaty block because that is one of our advancements and I actually just got it right so that's pretty cool uh, this is not quite getting better so let's go up here and I'm just gonna go way up in the sky let's go up to the clouds above the clouds why not okay I'm way up here all right let's drop our block here Let's drop our crafting table here, and I'll stand on it. Oh yeah, look at that. See all the power we've got now? That's pretty cool. And then let's take a look at these, and we're going to go for a light well. It says we have plenty to make a light well. Let's right-click it. Here comes the starlight. That's a cool effect. And there it is. Cool. Got a light well. Um, I don't know if this is going to spawn anything. Let me just put a torch up here. Just for now. Just so we don't spawn mobs and have them drop on our on our camp. And then I'll come down and we'll place our light well. We're way overhead too. This is kind of cool looking. I like the overhead view. Let me go down and I'll place that light well. Alright. It doesn't look like it's doing much right now. So... Let me see... If we look it up, light well, and put uses on it, it looks to me like we can put different things in here and actually get liquid starlight out of it. A rock crystal, snow turns to water, which I don't really need that. Aquamarine, I'm not real sure. Let's try some aquamarines. Oh, cool. All right. That works. So it looks like this actually creates liquid starlight. We might have to do something like a clicker on this thing or get a rock crystal. But it is creating liquid starlight in a bucket, and we need that for some of our recipes. So this is a good way to get started in it. I mean, it, it's probably a terrible way to do it. But uh, we could try running ME to it. Let's test that out. All right, so it looks like an ME export bus does not work. We'll test some of our other pipes and come back if we find something that actually can. But right now I'm manually placing them. It's slowly getting up to a thousand millibuckets uh, to get our first liquid starlight button bucket. Um, and we'll see where that takes us. All right, we've got our first 2,000 millibuckets of liquid starlight. Let's see if we can get a bucket of it. Looks like we can, and that will keep going. I am having to place that manually. I tried a hopper as well. I've tried a few things. I think it's a manual placement thing. We probably could put some kind of using block there, but I want to see if there's a better way to make it further in the mod. So one of the things I wanted to use this for was if we take a look at the book is the upgrade for the crafting altar. It looks like we need a liquid starlight bucket, four pillars, a rock crystal, and two chiseled marble, and I have all that. And here's another rock crystal, so let's go up again. All right, here we are, and wow, that's pretty full. Let's try to get it in there while we can. Uh, this is the luminous crafting table, we'll do that. Uh, can I even do, oh, it says I have to do this at night, so let's try it. Hmm, why isn't that working? 
All right, I think that we are going to need to build this platform to get the actual upgrade to work. So let's try that. Uh, I'm going to try to build it here. Let's start with the sooty outline. So the thing we need to be looking at is if we bring this up, uh, we need, it looks like a three by three in the middle and then like these little points coming out. So let's do that. We'll do three by three in the middle. Points coming out. Okay, and take a look. So we've got that. And then we need bricks around the outside with um, looks like chiseled in the middle. So let's take our bricks, go around the outside. The corners are going to be the chiseled marble. Okay, let's take our chisel and actually turn this into chiseled marble, which is right there. Put this in the corners. And then it looks like to me that we need to take arches around the outside. So let's take our arch. Oops. Do everything but the corners with that. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's double check. It looks like the base is correct. Oh, it actually does cover the chisel. So let's put those here, 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 and repeat. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okie doke. And then we're going to need to go up. It looks like pillars. So let's put the altar in the middle. There. And then let's do our pillars. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And is there anything else? Yeah, it looks like chiseled on the top. So let's take our chiseled marble. One, two, three, four. And then let's put our recipe in here. Uses, and I think I need pillars and chiseled. So let's go ahead and get those made real quick. Feel that in there? Oh, look, see, it lets us do it now. So let's take our wand and let's start her up. Oh, that's cool, much better. All right, let's stand up here and watch the magic. Very nice. I don't know how long this takes, so I won't watch it all if it's gonna take forever. Oh, sweet, there it is. So that's done. Now we have the... Oh yeah, that's much better, okay. Um, we'll have to look and see what we can do with this, but uh, that's cool. We've got our, our bigger crafting altar together. Um, when I end up making my big building, I'll probably put this as the roof of it, uh, the, you know, the mage tower, I guess. I'll do that with the roof of it and probably put some Chinese architecture around the, the lower levels and stuff, but make the very top of it like this and maybe surround it with some sort of roof. I'm not sure. We'll play with it, but this is cool. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at the book and see what else we can make with it. Okay, we only have a couple minutes left in the episode, so I want to go over this real quick. We have unlocked two additional um, focus areas in here for research, and the one we just unlocked crafting that table was attunement. So next episode, we're probably going to get deep into um, astral sorcery and how we can, can go forward with this. Uh, but I wanted to probably work my way next episode towards a celestial altar, which is the next upgrade. And that will probably be the top of my mage tower. So probably next time, we'll also build the mage tower up, or at least figure out where the roof's going to be, and then build the celestial altar up there. But to do that, we're going to have to get through star metal which um, also requires like a grindstone and all sorts of that. I don't know exactly everything, but it's basically uh, an iron uh, ore that gets soaked in, I think, the um, 
in the starlight somehow. And we're going to figure that out. So, so we'll get into that next time. Uh, but I think this is a good stopping point because we're going to be getting into all of this attunement path and it's going to be a big topic. So we'll probably start next episode by working our way through from iron transmutation through star metal and then work our way to the celestial altar and then maybe even on our mage tower we'll have a couple of these celestial gateways instead of using our cakes to get to the other dimensions it'd be kind of cool to have uh like a warp area from that mage tower so uh we'll see where that goes it should be pretty exciting it's a pretty cool mod so far but that will be it for this episode thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time